back at Haskell. Today, we're deriving instances. Right. In the Type Classes 101 section, we explained the basics of type classes. Yes, I remember this. We explained that a type class is a sort of interface that defines some behavior. Sure. A type can be made an instance of a type class if it supports that behavior. Example, the int is an instance of the eq type class because the eq type class defines behavior for stuff that can be equated. And because integers can be equated, int is a part of the eq type class. The real usefulness comes with the functions that act as the interface for eq, namely equal or not equal. If a type is part of the eq type class, we can use both the equal functions with a value of that type. That's why the expression expressions like for is for equal to for or is for not equal to bar, we can do those type checks. Now, Runner says, I was w watching a video today about how people on social media are advocating eating rotten raw meat because it can get you high. That is, if you don't die. Wait. Rotten raw meat because you get high from it? Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, I know a great way to get high, right? Winter is coming. There's gonna be snow and cold. So what you do is you take on your shorts and your t-shirt and you just go out and hang outside. Yeah, just stay outside for a long time and you will get high, I promise. That is before you die, yeah. You get delirious and all that. Yeah, you get a fever and you lose track of what's going on and then you die. I mean, I suppose, mm, look around for people who have a cold and try to get cold because when you get fever, you get high. I, Oh, I know, no, Runner, that's, that's something I do, he says. I go out with shirt and shorts, also barefoot sometimes. Yeah, yeah but the trick is, if you want to get high, no, Runner, is not to go back inside. Yeah. And walk around where, in the, where, like, if you want to try and maybe stay alive, do that where there's a lot of people sneezing and shit, yeah. Because you can get high from having a fever, right? Getting high from eating raw rotten meat. Wow. Madness. Sorry, I lost track. Where were we? Right. We also mentioned that they're often uh, confused with classes la in languages like Java, Python, C++, and the like, which then baffles a lot of people. Okay, yeah. In those languages, classes are a blueprint from which we then create objects that contain state and can do some actions. Right, I never really learned object-oriented programming, so this helps for you, that's all fine, yeah. Type classes are more like interfaces. We don't make data from type classes, instead we first make our data type, and then we think about what it can act like. If it can act like something that can be equated, we make an instance of the EQ type class. If it can act like something that can be ordered, we make it an instance of the ORD type class. In the next section, we'll take a look at how we can manually make our types instances of type classes by implementing the functions defined by the type classes. All right, so we do that by type inference. Yeah, we make them part of the type class by having a function. We don't have to declare it straight out, I guess. Well, get in on tab says, I'd burn toilet paper if someone, uh, someone on some forum said it, it felt like, wait. Well, get in, in quotes, he said, I'd burn toilet paper if someone on some forum said it felt like nonsense. If someone said that burning toilet paper felt like non feels like nonsense, you would do it? I think 
Have I burned toilet paper? I don't remember. I mean, fire is fun, I guess, but... Be careful, don't burn your house down, I guess, yeah. Or someone else's house down, that, that would be terrible. Right, but right now, let's see how Haskell can automatically make uh, our type an instance of any of the following type classes. EQ, ORD, ENUM, BOUNDED, SHOW, READ. Oh, shit, I don't remember all of these. This one we just got... Yeah, both of these we just got explained, right? Checking for equality, checking for order that is greater than, less than, or equal. Enum is that... Mm, like, if we can enumerate it? I don't, I don't remember. We can put numbers in front of them. Feels like it's similar to ordered, but... Maybe they are unique? I don't know, I don't remember. Bounded? Don't remember at all. Go is we can print it. Yeah, we can print a version of it into our terminal. And read is that we can... It's a string that we can turn into an expression, right? I think so. Cool, get in on tab says, If you burn someone else's house down, it is important to film it for social media and say, just a prank, bro. <laughs> wow. Not on ask, have you ever, ever tried putting peanut butter and jelly in your muesli? Jelly is filled with sugar, so I, I don't do that anymore. I've never tried putting peanut butter in it because I don't think that... Yeah, that... Mixing peanut butter with milk? Because I have milk in my muesli, right? It feels like it would be weird. But I can also see it being tasty because peanut butter is tasty. But I usually just eat, eat peanuts almost every day now, nowadays. As snacks. So I'm, I'm having enough peanuts as it is. Haskell can derive the behavior of our types in these contexts if we use the deriving keyword when making our data type. All right, so we can decide. Can de we can decide and declare that they are that. Yeah, yeah, data person, person, and we do all that stuff. But then we say deriving EQ. Wait, didn't we do that before? Deriving show. Didn't we do that like all the time? Yeah, deriving show. What I thought. We have been doing that all the time, yeah. Note owner says it's not weird. Peanut butter goes well with milk. Very nice. It doesn't sound like it makes it healthier, though. Hmm. Right, it describes a person. It does, yeah. Spring, string, int. Let's assume now that no two people have the same combination of first name, last name, and age. Now, if we have records of two people, does it make sense to see if they represent the same person? Sure it does. We can try to equate them and see if they're equal or not. That's why it would make sense for this type to be part of the EQ type class. We'll derive the instance. Okay, yeah. When we derive the EQ instance for a type and then try to compare the two values with equal equal or not equal, Haskell will see if the value constructors match. There's only one value constructor here though. And then it will check if all the data contained inside matches by testing each pair of fields with the equal equal function. There's only one catch though. The type of all the fields also have to be part of the EQ type class. But since both string and int are, we are okay. Let's test the EQ instance. This just feels like... This feels... Obvious, kind of. But uh, something I missed, right? Could we just derive it, or do we have to declare it? I think they said that we don't have to declare it, yeah. Note owner says, not every behavior humans do is in pursuit of health. No. I don't think it's that unhealthy, though. Maybe not. I'm just thinking I'm happy with my muesli as it is, and if I start pouring 
stuff that makes it unhealthier. And then I get used to that. That's a net negative in my book. Like I've started eating peanuts. I can't fucking stop. They're so tasty. I can't stop. All right. Let Mickey D person. All right. We have Michael Diamond 43. Add Rock. Adam Rock. Right. And then we have some Adam Joch. That's German, right? Joch. Joch. Damn it. I do the, the guttural pH sound. All right. Then we can test if they're the same. Yeah, yeah, if Mike D is equal to Mike D, yeah, sure, sure. They're all the same. No owner says it's easy when you run out of peanuts, you just don't buy anymore. I know. And yet, I was went shopping yesterday, and guess what? I, I just went out buying like a kilogram off. Yeah, that's right. I bought a kilogram of, of peanuts. Or get in on taps says, or try these nuts. Also, just buy a house. Yeah, just buy a house while you're at it. Or you're feeling poor? Just buy a house. Life will be become so much better. Right. Of course, since person is now in EQ, we can use it as the A for all functions that have a class constraint of EQ A in their type signature, such as LM. Let Beastie Boys be MCA, Ad Rock, and Mike D. Mike D, an element of Beastie Boys? It's true. Very nice. The show and read type class are for things that can be converted to or from strings, respectively. Like EQ, if uh, types constructors have fields, their type has to be part of show and read. If we want to make our type an instance of them, let's make our person data type also be part of show and read as well. We did, however, do the read thing all the time. Now we can print a person out to the terminal. Well, we can print it out. Very nice. Had we tried to print a person on the terminal before making the person uh, data type of part show, Haskell would have complained at us, claiming that it doesn't know how to represent a person as a string. But now that we've derived show instance for it, it does know. Oh, so I must have misunderstood something. We can't just do the equality function. We have to derive EQ to do it. Read is pretty much the inverse type class of show. Yeah. We remember this. We've talked about this before. Yeah. Show is converting values uh, of our A type to a string. Read is for converting strings to values of our type. Remember, though, that when we use the read function, we have to use an explicit type annotation to tell Haskell which type we want to get as a result. If we don't make the type we want as a result explicit, Haskell doesn't know which type we want, right? Since there are many things that could fit within the read type class. Cool, get in on tab says we don't have to. We could also make it an instance of the EQ manually instead of deriving. But it's still right. It's still in the. It's still in this definition. It's in the creation that we do that manually. Or in reference to, we can't just, we can't just take Mike D here and then manually make Mike D into a EQ. Oh, or I mean, we could manually take first name since first name is EQ and we could take last name EQ and that seems like a lot of work. <sighs> Hello. 
if we use the result of our read later on uh, in a way that Haskell can infer that it should read it as a person, we don't have to use type annotation. All right, so you can infer. Well, you don't have this not Mike D, but we can take person. Later, more about it. We'll get to it. Cat is trying to flee. He doesn't. He doesn't like sitting here. We can also read parameter, parameter, it parameterized types, but we have to fill in the type parameters. So we can't do read just t, maybe a, but we can do read just maybe character. Wait, we have to fill in the type parameters. All oh, right, we can't read an A since we don't know what A is, but we can read a maybe character. Uh, maybe, maybe care, because we know that we can read that. Okay. Maybe, All right, we can derive instances for the order type class, which uh, is for types that have values that can be ordered. Yes, indeed. If we compare two values of the same type that were made using different constructors, the value which was made with a constructor that defined, that's defined, f there's a cat in the way, I can't see the screen. Oh no. Did we go up or down? I don't know. Oh, here we are. Uh, structures defined first is considered smaller. For instance, consider the bool type, which can have a value of either false or true. For the purpose of seeing how it behaves when compared, we can think of it as being implemented like this. False, true, deriving, ord. All right, so false is smaller than true. The order matters. That makes sense. Yeah. Let's see. Node owner says today I used OpenAI's Codex programming AI to actually do something useful. Oh, I needed to ver needed to convert decimal to hexadecimal, which in Bash is echo and and how you do it in Bash. I was writing my script in pure. Oh, pure shell sh. And I wasn't sure how to do the same thing without bash even after internet searching. So I just asked the AI and it, and it totally knew the answer. Nice. So it's echo zero XFF. That. Wait, I got it backwards. I was converting hexadecimal to decimal. Yeah. It just knew the answer. That's kind of cool. Cat hair everywhere. Someone is preparing for winter. Right, because uh, the false value constructor is specified first and the true uh, is specified after, we can consider true is the greater than false. Right, that makes sense, because we're ordering things. In the maybe a data type, the nothing value constructor is specified before the just value constructor. So a value of nothing is always smaller than a value of just something. Happy they did it that way because otherwise it would be weird. Even if that something is minus one billion trillion. But if we compare the two just values, then we get, then it goes to compare what's inside them. Right. Nothing is smaller than just... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Nothing is always smaller. In this... This data type, yeah. But we can't do something like just... Multiplied by 3 or just multiplied by 2 because 3 and 2 are functions which aren't instances of ORD. Yeah, that... 
It even looks weird. We can easily use algebraic data, algebraic data to make uh, enumerations and enum and bounded type classes help us with that. Consider the following data. The following data type. Day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday or Sunday. Look at that, they don't even... What is that? Let's just... Oh, we don't even need like a value. The value... The, um, the value constructor is the value itself. Is that what happens? Neuroner says the reason why I needed this because I had uh, a utility that captured the ID of the active window, but it was in hexadecimal. If I wanted to use that with xdo tool, I needed to either use xdo tool to get the active window as well, or convert it to decimal. Oh, I haven't used any of those automation to automation tools for a long time. Colgitino tab says that Monday and true are value constructors with no fields. All right. It doesn't need a field because just like true doesn't really need a field. It doesn't need a value field because the constructor is the value, kinda. Right, because all the value constructors are nullary, take no parameters, i.e. fields, that is fields, we can make it part of the enum type class. The enum type class is for things that have predecessors and successor. Suck essers. Yeah. We can also make a uh, make it part of the bounded type class. Oh right, because the lowest and the maximum value. That was what bounded was. I remember now. Which is for things that have lowest possible value and highest possible value. And while we're at it, let's also make it an instance of all the other derivable type classes and see what we can do with it. Right, we're deriving EQ, ORD, show, read, bounded, enum. There we go. Suck. Because it is part of the show and read type classes, we can convert values of this type uh, to and from strings, which is great. We don't have to have a value, we can create a value by just using show. I guess this is a pretty good data type, yeah. Because it's part of the EQ and OR type classes, we can compare and equate days. Yep, there are. Saturday is not Sunday. That is... But it works. We're learning. Right, and we can compare... Mondays are lesser than Wednesdays. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. Right. The bounded are between Monday and Sunday, and noom. Right. You get, oh, predecessors and suck essers. Right. Oh, we can get like a list like that Thursday to Sunday, and we get all of them in a list. Interesting. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Like that. Out on says relatable. Wait, what's relatable? Oh, right, the uh, hmm, stuff. Right. Then we have type synonyms. But, however, call get in on tab wants us to do a kata, so I guess we'll postpone the type synonyms for a bit. Or, actually, hmm, probably making that, going for that tomorrow. We'll see how fast this kata goes. Hmm. Wolf in sheep's clothing. Let's do that. 
Right, what do we have? Wolves have been reintroduced to Great Britain. You're a sheep farmer and are now plagued by wolves, which pretend to be sheep. Okay, fortunately, you're good at spotting them. Yes, we can spot them. Yeah, Mondays are the worst. Right, warn the sheep in front of the wolf that it's about to be eaten. Remember that if you're standing at the front... Wait, remember that you are standing at the front of the queue. Which is in the end of this array. You are here at the front of the queue. Alright. So if the wolf is here. I need to warn all of these. Warn the sheep in front that the wolf is about to be eaten. Wait, so... Sheep number two is about to be, get eaten, right? The wolf is the closest animal to you. Return, please go away and stop eating my sheep. Otherwise, return. Oi! Sheep number N, you're about to be eaten by a wolf, where N is the sheep's position in the queue. Note, there will always be exactly one wolf in the array. Examples. All right, sheep, 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 wolf, sheep. Oh, wait, number one. This is number one. This is not number one. Please go away and stop eating my sheep. I think I, I understand what we're doing here. <laughs> All right, Colgate in on tab says that Sunday is the highest. Do they endorse narcotics? I mean, I know um, in uh, in Christian cultures they do, right? They drink a lot of wine on Sundays. Oh, I hear. I don't know if there's extra much coffee on Sundays. I mean, usually it's Saturdays though, right? They endorse alcohol, I guess. Right, how the fuck do we do this? I have no idea. I'm guessing we... Fold right? Damn it. No, 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 it says only rotten meat, sadly. Oh. Gross. Wait, how do we do this thing? It kind of feels like we're folding from the right, isn't it? And we have our accumulator. Start at zero, and for each step we take, accumulator, zero, one, zero, two. No, no, that's not. I feel like I've done this mistake once before. I feel like I've made this mistake once before. What we do instead is that we have a... We can just take a recursive function where we take the length of the list. And but a recursive function goes this way, right? So we would need the length of the list and then just go Right, we have the length one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, that won't work because we don't know. Wolf is the well, if the wolf is the first number, it doesn't matter. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have the length minus one. Yeah, yeah, we have our. Um... Why isn't this one? The, the last one we had was over in like five minutes. And this is supposed to be the same difficulty and I'm like sitting here and just... I'm not, I'm not quite sure how to solve this problem. Yeah. Now oh. owner says that the bug, rep the bug I reported to file has already been fixed. Cool! Good job. Use your brain muscles. I feel like my brain muscles are not up up to snuff. Yeah. Cat woke me up four this morning, so I haven't 
had enough sleep. Brain muscles. We need to iterate through the list, right? And we need to fix a number. I'm thinking again, right? I still haven't learned the... Um, what's their faces? The fold right. And fold right, we have an accumulator, right? No, but the accumulator is something based off of the value. Do I have something interesting here that can... What do we have here? Whoa. I'm sorry. Trying to get epilepsy here. Right, we have our count here. Is that what we're trying to do? That kind of implies when we call this, right? I'm, I was thinking of using this recursive function here. That we have our list and we have our count. That kind of implies that we need to know the length of the list, which we do know. Yeah, yeah, we do know the length of the list. So we could just do this function, right? And just uh, take... Yeah, start with something high and then just minus one here instead. That probably works, right? Warn the sheep. Right, so if we have warn the sheep, we're not even going to do this thing. Let's just remove that. We have warn the sheep. And if we don't care about the number, but we have an empty list, will return an empty list I don't know no wait will we ever end up with an empty list I don't think so since there will always be a wolf in here but I suppose we need our edge case defined anyway import data.list import data dot list is there a where we just find that's actually I think that's a very good tip because I kind of feel like if we go back here and we go back to our data dot list module Yeah, yeah, like we can look up where something is in the list, right? I can just search for wolf and get a number out of it, right? Data dot list. Pretty sure. that not it find here we go find takes a list and a predicate yeah we just do find wolf and we get returns the first no it returns the element we want to find element index it's kind of like element but only it doesn't return a boolean value maybe returns the index of the element we're looking for boom that's it. Elm index. So what we could do is just let's check this out. All right. Warned sheep. Wait, no. Get index is equal to where is it lm index lm lm index and then we have the um, what list and 
And that's our index. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And our length is the length is eight, right? Mm. So it's um, length minus one. Oh shit, maths, maths. Right, here we have the number six, and we do have the length, which is eight. We need to get number three. So, plus one, probably. Does that work? That we have like um, length of XS minus and then just plus one. Is that the number we want? Probably. Does that work like this? Um, no, we don't. We don't need a wolf's number. We need the. We need the number two. We don't need the plus one because that is sheep number one. Yeah, but this is sheep number two. Yeah, that, that is the sheep we need to do. So, warn the sheep is... Um, right, take this thing. Oi, sheep number... Plus, plus. Wait, no. Damn it, I'm pressing the wrong button. Here we go. There we go. And here we take the two string. Or can we just call show here? Does that work if we just call show? Get index What was the list? Does that matter? No, it doesn't matter. All right, show turns it into no wait, show turns this into a string. So what we do this for it to work? I don't I don't remember. Would that work? We're about to get eaten by oh right, but No, this this needs to be a guard. Yeah yeah. Can't really pattern match. We need to guard this, right? That mm, that we say that to do. all of this. Oh, pass-through mode? What is happening? What just happened? 
Shift escape to leave. Shit. Oh, here we go. Not in insert mode. Why aren't we in insert mode? No index is greater than zero. Otherwise, we take this thing. Oh, oh, that's not what we do. Right, what happens? No. Couldn't Mac expected type int with actual type DA, maybe int. Probable cause lm index is applied to too few arguments. lm index, is it? The lm index, it takes the thing we're looking for and a list and it returns maybe an int so we get just three fuck i don't remember this how do we get three from just three right i want to do maths i can't do maths with just three so how do i get th Oh, could have just gone with find index, right? Yep. Mm. Fine. Oh, I forgot to look for the wolf. That. Wolf. did we return from this find index what wait what's the difference between find index and lm index it's like find but maybe returns the index of the first element that satisfies the predicate right, what did i do Oh, equal to wolf. Here we go. It has to be equal to wolf. Element takes an element. Find takes a predicate. Yeah. So if we stuck with element, we didn't need to do this. Right. Test again. See what's broken this time. Yeah, the maybe. I don't remember seeing that at all. Right? When I have a maybe three, how do I get a three out of that? Search for that. Haskell maybe int to int. Is that like a really thing? Case find position number of box. Just n do whatever with n. Wait. You can e easily do this using pattern matching in your do statement. Don't understand. Oh, I need a pattern match. 
Right, right, right. We do just N. We have to do the math. Not here. Because this returns just N. Make a function for it. Yeah. Right. This one gets the index, right? So here we got just three. Right. So math stuff, which will take, they say just n, right? Math stuff. And this takes just n. Right, I'm confused. And then we do length of all right, it takes that, just n and excess. Length of excess minus n. That's it. No need for parentheses. Sure. I'll take your word for it. Right. So. Wait, how do we call these things? Right, this returns the just n, so we need to right, get index. Right. Oh wow, I'm definitely tired. I don't I don't know how to put these three functions together. It's like I'm just completely lost. Right, we take get index. Right, we call in here we need to call math stuff. Oh shit, not again. We need to do math stuff. On this, because this here Yeah, and then the actual list, like so. Wait, does this work? No. This, wait, we need to, let's do this. Shit, now the insert mode disappears again. Here we go. Right, if all of that is greater than zero, then we do this. And to get the number, we do, the, do it again. Is that really, this seems like redund a redundant way to do it. Or you have to write it twice. That's not gonna work. Huh. Just should have one argument but has been given none. Oh shit, yeah, we can't have again with the 
like this then. Putting parentheses all over the place. Alright, the constructor just should have one argument but has been given none. Still? Just n xs, right? Here we got the just n that has been returned, and here we got the list. Because this get index ss finds shit I don't remember actually let's copy all of this it might be something in the implementation here uh, and just refresh this whole thing Shit, it saved my stuff. I think, like, I, I might be broken it. I warned the sheep takes... It only took a list. Yeah, yeah. Why doesn't it work? Why doesn't it work? What? Let's uh, M wolf dot chess. That was not what I wanted. No. Port data dot list uh, Why doesn't it work? Am you game? Then we load the wolf. That's way too big, I can't read that. Right, we get the same error. Call it in on tab says, I thought you wanted to do different function for math stuff with that function. Maybe unintended, you need parentheses. Yeah, that's... That's what I was thinking, yeah. Let's try that. That still breaks. Right, couldn't match expected type uh, list of characters with actual type int. Wait, aren't we back to this problem? Oh, I didn't... Did I not turn this into... Oh yeah, I didn't turn this into a int. I don't even know if show works, but let's try show here. Wait, was that it? On the sheep and then... Have this thing. No. Keep number two. Right? So what we just do then is minus one and see if that works. See if this works. It 
Let's test. We passed one of the tests. Let's attempt. Do we win? Did I win? I won. There we go. Cool, get in on tap says, I thought you just wanted to do, wait, I thought you just wanted to do just n equals n as a function, as that wouldn't need parentheses. Oh yeah, that wouldn't. I've ranked up. I didn't want to rank up. Can I rank down? I don't feel comfortable at all ranking up in Haskell. No, please, please not. And I'm not very good at this yet, right? That's something I've noticed, that you need to get the practical exercise, right? I've been doing a lot of reading, but the practical exercise is just not there yet. Alright, so what was the best one? The best practices. People say that... Data.list, sure, we have a string, warn the sheep, case, element index wolf, reverse... Oh, they reverse the list to get the correct number. Just zero, yeah, yeah, or just n. Hmm. They all did the case thing. I don't remember. Did we read about the case thing? Well, it worked, I guess. You have a better solution? Feel free to go to Code Wars and do it yourself, I guess. Yeah, but that is just that is just maybe maybe that's just enough for today. So it's time to go and have some lunch. Yeah, thanks for hanging out and have a good one. Yeah, cheers.